Hi guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a beginner's tutorial and I'm saying it's beginner because it is, I'm going to give you a lot of information that beginners usually don't know when they get a colored pencil set, but this may be good for intermediate people too. Depends on where your knowledge base is. It's on the color black. Now what you're looking at up on the screen is a piece of a picture that I was sent by one of my subscribers. She needs help. She doesn't know if the pencil, is something wrong with the pencil or is it her or what's going on, but she can't get a smooth black. So I'm going to sort of show you. I, I told her, but I didn't get a permission yet to show her whole picture. It's actually very cute. Like I know like the piece that I picked out looks kind of childish, and but it's just the bottom of it. It's actually a character and it's cute. <laughs> Um, it looks like something she's drawn many times in her lifetime, and it's like a signature character. So, I want to help her out, and and we're going to just draw the bottom. Well, first of all, we're going to take a look at what she is doing and why I knew exactly what she was doing wrong just by seeing the picture for just one minute. For the coverage of the black... There is absolutely not enough layers to cover black. You gotta remember, colored pencil is not like marker. Marker soaks into the paper. Colored pencil only goes where you put the tip. So there's no spreading of the color. You have to do all the work. That's why colored pencil is slow. It takes many, many, many layers. So, and it takes a light hand at the beginning and then it takes a burnish at the end for you to get that rich color. And sometimes, even if you do that, it doesn't work out with black. Normally, I don't use black in a picture like this. I don't do backgrounds in black pencil. It's not the medium for it because you will get things that look like this. First, and what are we looking at? Well, first of all, the tooth of the paper is shining through, which you haven't put enough pencil down on the paper. And even if you tell me that you did three, four layers, that's not enough when it comes to black. Far from it. And it doesn't matter which black pencil you use. I have a whole bunch of them to show you. They all come out the same if you don't put the layers down. Second of all, I see at the bottom something that looks like this. Okay? Right there, I could see that you're scribbling. Scribbling, so let's take a look at what a proper pencil stroke looks like. You're going to take your hand, it's going to go, and I'm doing it in slow motion. You can get real, I'm real quick at it. So sometimes you might not pick up on what I'm doing, but let's get real close. We're going to get real friendly. Okay, I hope this works out filming wise because I'm, I'm trying to do it really close up. When you go and you scribble like this, Immediately, mine looks like hers. If you look at the screen, you could see these little loops, okay, where you go up and you go down. You could see it in the paper. A proper stroke for colored pencil is you put the pip down and you go down and go, down and go, down and go. Each time you're lifting and you're sort of making a square or a rectangle. And I know that you see colorists going like this. That's circular strokes. It's different. What you're doing is actually scribbling. So that's one problem that you're getting is you're not going to get the coverage going like this because you're forming circles. And what you're doing is you're going around and then like this. Okay? Some will be lines will be crossing over other lines. And that puts more over here and less over here. It's never going to work out. If you take your pencil and you do what I was doing, stroking it. See, you get a much smoother lay down. 
Now, this is just first layer. I still have all those little tiny white dots on here. That's the tooth of the paper coming through. I'm going to slightly turn my paper. It doesn't have to be on its side. It's just slightly turned so that my hand is not going, it, it's not going over the first strokes that way. It's going sideward. That's going to pick up a different part of the tooth. So we're going to put the second layer down. Okay, we're going to bring it back another layer. Another layer. Each time you will get more and more of that tooth that you didn't pick up the first time. Okay, once you've built up your layers, that's when you're going to take your pencil and you're going to burnish. And that's when you built up your layers. And it's very small circles, not this. Very small. And you're going to flatten down the tooth on the paper. Okay, now look at this and look at this. This is the way you were doing it. This is the way I do it. And still, if I go really super close, you'll still be able to see white in it. But that's not these pencils. Okay, here I have my polychromos. Or is this, okay, Holbein, which is a professional pencil. Take it. Okay, take it and do the same thing. Even with a professional pencil, you're still going to get that white. Take it, turn it slightly. And I still have that white. Take it again. Actually, I like the star joint black better. Do I have black? Is this black? This is black. This is blacker than this. This is grayer. Okay. So let's... Well, that's not very encouraging. <laughs> oh, fine. And then... Circles to burnish. Okay, pretty identical, these two. Remember, this is yours. They react the same way. Um, here I have, is this my father Cassell? This is not black. Okay, this is the darkest one in the polychromos that I have. This is my Payne's Gray. I don't know where my black pencil is. So let's... able to get you to see. Okay, I'll start over. I'm laying it down. I'm going to actually called cross hatching. Okay, that's three layers. Build it up even more than that. But for time-wise, I'm burnishing now. Okay, so these are three. The Star Joy, the Holbein, the Polychromos. Not much of a difference, or if any, difference at all. That's a one inch area. I would never cover 
the size, well, this is smaller, the size of character that you did in the pure black with pencil. Never works out, not even for me. It's just not a good situation to be doing black pencil in. But normally, black is never completely black. And hear my words, you're doing black, you're coloring a blackened area. In that case, it was the black dress. You're not going to have a completely black dress. If you did, it's going to look very flat. You might as well use marker. With black, you want to be able to see shades of gray in it. And this is just something quick. Now see I'm doing a larger area. This is no different than your picture. Still has all that white. That's why I don't like using black. Unless it's a teeny tiny area or I'm darkening up something else. Now, see, like, I'm doing the bottom part of your the dress that you did. Very small area of it is going to be black. The rest I'm going to fill in with the gray. Let me just get another gray pencil out. Now, even though I'm using gray, this dress is going to be basically black. You're going to be able to tell that this is the illusion of black. Well, it goes for white also. White is also an illusion color. Nothing is ever pure white. And even though I am using two professional pencils you could still see the white of the paper. It takes many, many, many layers. I could work probably an hour in this small, tiny area at least. Black a black dress like this would also have white in it. See as it's starting to get darker, but the gray will still give it dimension. So here is a quick sample of what that bottom of the dress could look like. This I'm trying to do what you know you were doing versus this where you have all those lines on it. See, it's starting, it's just starting to take form now. And ha look how long I've been working on it. And it's just starting to give some sort of dimension in it. But you can tell it's the bottom part of your dress. I can come in with a little bit of highlight. Another thing that you can do with black, and I would always recommend this in like a, like a, on a black, something that was like a black dress, 
is you're going to want to use blending medium. Black is not one that you should be using alone. Now, I would normally be letting this dry way longer. You have the illusion that it is a black skirt, but the predominant color in it is gray. So I hope this helped you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.